Hello, everybody. You didn't bring Aaron Brown, did you? Oh, he's here. Oh, okay. You want to go talk to him? Yeah. How's he doing? I had an error. Hello, Mr. Brown. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Have a seat. I don't know if you got taller since the last time I saw you, or I got shorter. But you uh, mentioned the same thing. I don't know where I'm getting this height from. He says he's six three. He's not six three, Josh. He's not. No, I think add a couple inches. Anyway, this is People versus Aaron Lewis Brown. The file number. This matter is almost three years old or two years old. It's alleged to have occurred in October of 2022. Uh, Mr. Brown is a charge with domestic assault against his aunt, Anita Green, his mother's sister. Uh, Mr. Brown has been out of the county. I think he told me he was in Florida and then he'd been living in Grand Rapids. We did an arraignment last week, and thank you, Luke. I set this on a short turnaround because Mr. Brown was going to be unable to post his bond. I think I saw him last Friday. Judge Patterson was gone, and he's gone again today. Anyway, Mr. Rognes then got involved in the case. He wasn't with the office at the time this was authorized, and I believe has talked to the complainant. Aaron, this is a question of we don't exactly know what to do here. You don't live here in St. Joe County anymore. You don't want to live here. You plan to either, from what you told me, go back to Grand Rapids or go back to Tampa. The case is two years old. You've been in jail now for seven days, plus the days you did at the front end, which I think makes nine days total. Um, after I talked to you, I sent a letter to Lisa Iantelli. Did anyone from the jail come see you? No, they did not. Well, the problem is she's leaving, and maybe she's already gone. Uh, last <clears throat> Friday, I asked somebody to come see you and see what your situation was with treatment and medications. And um, her last day was September 30th. I sent her an email on Friday the 20th. Um, I'm disappointed. Um, anyway, Mr. Nofsinger, what's your position here? Judge, uh, Mr. Brown is prepared to make uh, a no contest admission. I agree with what the court has said already in terms of the case posture. Uh, Mr. Brown is not amenable to a term of probation. I'll add. All right. Mr. Brown, let's talk about this. Uh, domestic assault is a misdemeanor. It's punishable by up to 93 days in jail and a fine of up to $500. There is a kind of probation would allow you to have this charge taken off your record. Uh, but according to what your lawyer says, you don't wish to do a probation. Uh, by pleading no contest to the charge, you don't admit what happened. You also don't deny what happened and you would allow or accept that a conviction would enter. Do you understand? Yeah. Anybody threaten you to get you to plead to this charge? Not to, no. Uh, like me or the lawyer or the prosecutor or anybody? No. Anybody promise you anything? No. All right, let's take a look at the factual basis. It's alleged that, where was this? The house on Broadway? Yes. Brown being, the incident occurred at West Broadway. Uh, you've been living since January. Hit her in the side of the face with your arm. She had swelling. Pushed her down and abrasion on her left hand. And then apparently you left the scene. Did you get arrested right that night or did they arrest you later? Mm -hmm. Right there. All right. And where'd you go when you got out of jail? To Keystone. All right. And then where'd you go from Keystone? To Mel Trotter. And you've been at Mel Trotter since? Yes. I can't get a hold of my social um, my social group that I uh, work with um, for some odd reason, but I do have some people that are interfering with my life as well. So I consider them stalkers. Um, 
I have filed a police report in Grand Rapids. About well, at Mel Trotter, do you live like in a group living situation? It's like there's an emergency shelter, and then if you seek like housing and jobs and stuff, you can get upstairs. I got upstairs to the second floor where I had like that orange lanyard, what they call it. And do you um, have your own apartment or you share with other people? There is a suite. Okay. That you share with one other person with a bathroom and like some drawers. Well, I am concerned. I don't want you to lose your housing. If they held this place for you, if you go back to Mel Trotter, will you have your place back? No, I um I need to get into a house that my mother built, and I also have been looking at property out in California, but I need to uh, regain my recover my inheritance that she left me. Well, and you talked about that, and that was I don't think that that is true. You said your mother had a house worth several billion dollars. And as I wasn't just joking, I knew your mother and I knew the Brown family and the Hunt family. And uh, there's no million dollar fortune somewhere. Um, so I'm concerned about what happens when I let you out, that you're going to have a place to go to. Um, I'm, it took you probably months to get that suite at Mel Trotter, didn't it? Yes. And they are, um, they take a while doing stuff like that for sure. Um, I don't know if it's because they're surrounded by people that have been kidnapped up there or if it's. Do you get Social Security? No. Do you have any source of income? No, I had my, like I said, my mother's inheritance that she left me, Jaza Newberry, and her father stole hundreds of thousands of dollars from me and stole the house that was left in my name. And that is- Where was that house? Greenfield Court, over off of Kunalo. Yes, I remember. Right next to the house, Stouffer. Who's in that house now? As far as I know, a bunch of dead bodies. But it still belonged to the Brown family? No, Robert just stole it and moved to Palmer. Robert? Jess Evans, her. Oh, uh, Jess. That'd be her, her husband. Mm -hmm. All right, but he's quite ill, I understand. I don't contact those people. They're in that Palco anatomy organization processing bodies, and I do not want anything to do with them. All right, all right, so let's go to square one. If you're released right now, today, where would you go? My grandmother's house. Which is where? May Ruth Brown. Well, I know May Brown. Your grandfather's Rochester? Yes, sir. He passed away. Unfortunately. And where does May live? Haynes Road. Who's with her? I told my uncle Gary Brown to stay with her because Ricky Martin, who he goes by Ricky Brown, but that is not his father, is a nutcase. And he's raped me and my grandmother before, and he has stolen money from me. So I told him to not go out there. And um, that's just. That. So is your uncle Gary living there with your grandma? I think he's looking after her, but I haven't talked to her. I told her I keep in touch with her. Um, so when I leave here, I just usually when I come into town, I just go out there. When I came into town last, when was it, two years ago, she she had COVID. So I didn't go out there right away. Instead, I had an apartment, not an apartment, a um, hotel at the Best Value Inn for three months through Keystone. Because she wasn't feeling too well. So I just went there instead. But I just recently talked to her oh, two weeks ago. And I was also advised by Joe Biden to come up here as well. The 46th president of the United States of America. All right. And this, those are the kind of things that trouble me, Aaron. I think you understand what a trial is about, what your lawyer's function is, and what my function is, the prosecutor's function. And I believe your plea of no contest was knowing and voluntary. And I believe that you're competent. 
but you have a bunch of delusional thinking uh, that troubles me. Um, and I'm not unwilling to let you out. You don't want to do a probation, but I want some sort of a plan. Um, I don't want to just have you standing on the doorstep at the jail with nowhere to go and no money in your pocket. I was trying to get a hold of Mark Lilly, right? He's the um, close confident, he's a uh, close relative of mine, former well, sheriff. Yeah, and, well, uh, he actually is still the sheriff. Uh, he won't be at, at the end of the year, but Luke. You're here Monday anyway. Um, I, I asked Lisa for some help. I'm gonna ask her again. I'm gonna set this for a sentence for Monday, September 30th. At 11. Well, let's set it for 10.30. I'm going to try to get some help from the mental health advocate at the jail for simple things like getting you a ride from there to your grandmother's or I don't know whether your grandmother is willing to accept you. I thought she was in very poor health last I heard. She had a heart attack. I did as well. I've had like three different heart attacks. From, um, I don't even know what, but um there was there was a point where she wasn't feeling too well, and I take care of her. I mean, kind of why I, I know I told you that I probably was going to go back down to Florida or California. Yeah. I was looking out there, but wherever I go, she's coming with me. But for right now, I do think it's best that I stay in Michigan for a little bit longer. But that's unreal. You have no money and no source of income. No, and I can't um, stand it. Yes. Have you ever applied for Social Security disability? He won't qualify. He's got that several billion dollar inheritance. I have not. I think he would be eligible for some disability, but that's a separate matter. Um, all right, we'll take another crack at this uh, next Monday morning at 1030. And uh, Do you have any contact with your brothers? Jason is the only sibling I talk to. I don't talk to Jocelyn. No, she's the mass murderer. She has confessed to killings over 700 people and processing their bodies. Um, she has confessed it with me and Rebecca Ivins and a few other people. So I just do No, it. that's the kind of stuff that troubles me. I know your sister, Jocelyn. She hasn't killed 700 people. I know your twin brothers, Jason and Jordan. Um, and so that that kind of stuff is troubling to me. Um, but this is in the context of a domestic assault plea. All right. We'll take another crack at this Monday, September 30th at 1030. See if and we can get lady, a, a plan. She's involved as well. That What's lady, that? Anita Green, she's involved with that woman, Jasmine Evans, as well. So. I do not associate myself with these people. So that's why. All right. Um, you're good to go. I'll Thank see you me. Monday. And if there's anybody I can get a hold of Mark Lilly White to have pick me up and send my release. Well, I'll tell you what, I can't even get a hold of Mark Lilly White. I've texted him a couple of times to try to talk to him about something. And so I don't know what to tell you, but. Thank you, Judge Mary Latin. Okay. Uh, I'm going to send another request to Lisa and ask her if she can help us with this. Um, I'll CC both of you on the email. An adult? Well, you're right. He doesn't live in this county necessarily. Well, I'm going to stop the live stream. That was troubling. Be safe. Be well. Sleep sweet and much love.